Hello, my name is Dr. Krauss, and my goal is to make sure that my patients are educated and completely understand everything that I do. When a patient understands what I am doing and why, they ultimately feel more at ease with every procedure and going to the dentist is no longer a scary notion. Today, dentistry is ever-changing as technology is growing by leaps and bounds. Some procedures that are offered in my office, such as the Cerec Digital Crown, are very new and most patients do not know what to expect. Therefore, I welcome you to watch this video on what to expect during the Cerec Digital Crown and hope that I could add clarity regarding such procedures. We start this procedure by giving local anesthesia to completely numb the area. The tooth is then reduced systematically so that a crown can be placed upon it. It is a very structured preparation and usually does not take much time. We then make sure that there are no old fillings in the tooth and if there are, the fillings are removed and decay is taken out of the tooth. After the preparation has been completed, we then take a digital impression with the Cerec Omnicam, which is a high resolution video impression system. The arch with the preparation, the opposing arch, and the bite are all imaged to be used in the creation of the crown. Once the digital models are created by the computer, the models are put together to mimic the patient's bite. Then the computer generates a proposal which is edited and further designed by myself to ensure all parameters are correct. Unlike many other dental offices, you will have a new completed custom crown made in our office in just one visit. There are no temporaries to fall off. This eliminates the need for any return visits. After the design of the crown is completed, I forward the information to the milling unit and create the crown. The milling unit uses water with lubricant and two diamond burrs to mill the crown from a block of porcelain. In most cases in my office, it is an Emax material, which is a highly aesthetic and extremely strong material. This material is even stronger than a real tooth. While most patients enjoy watching their crown being milled, patients also have approximately 10 minutes to relax in the operatory or waiting room where they can watch TV, read a magazine, enjoy our saltwater fish tank, do work, or play games on our iPad. After the crown is milled, it is placed in the ultrasonic cleaner to remove the lubricant and is tried into the patient's mouth. At this point, the bite and the contacts in between the teeth are adjusted and the anatomy is further defined. After we ensure that the crown fits, the next step is to paint on a glaze and custom stain the crown according to the surrounding teeth. When finished, the crown is placed in a computerized oven and is heated under vacuum which crystallizes the crown. The tooth will be stained permanently and the crown is strengthened. The crown is again tried in to make sure that it fits properly. Then the internal portion of the crown is prepared so that the porcelain can be bonded to the tooth. The tooth is then treated with bonding material and placed in the mouth with a composite cement. And about two hours later, just like that, we have a Sarah crown. That was really the easiest procedure I've ever had done. It was painless and fast, and it's unbelievable. I have my, my tooth back better than ever. Thank you, Dr. Krauss. I hope this video helps to familiarize you with our new procedure in making crowns in our office and minimizes any anxieties you may have should you need a crown in the future.